Hey guys, um, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Arc Frozen Seed, what it is, why I've uh, why I'm raising a hundred thousand dollars, and what that money is going towards, as well as kind of you know where this is all leading. Uh, in case you haven't seen the trailer, I'll link it down below. We just put it out today, and the team and I are super happy with it. We've been working on Frozen Seed overall for about five months now, um, not just the trailer, uh, but. There is so much to unpack, and so uh, let me just kind of get into it first by prefacing um, that this is a film. This is a series of films, rather. It's really spread into three parts. It was originally going to be just a singular sort of film that was really inspired by uh, a film called Emesis Blue, which is a TF2, Team Fortress 2 um, source filmmaker movie that was made by pretty much like two guys, two Australian dudes. And I recommend you guys check it out. I'll also leave a link in the description below. And, you know, it was really this horror take on the TF2 universe. And I watched that immediately. A fan of mine sent me the Emesis Blue, and I was like, this looks kind of cool. And I watched the whole thing, like, that night, and, and I was, like, amazed. And I was like, we need to do something with Ark, something scary. And so that was really the inspiration, to be honest. And from there... Um, I started watching tons of horror movies. Um, started watching, I watched The Thing, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, some of the Alien films, uh, Terminator, just a ton of stuff, a ton of action too, a lot of like 80s um, movies that I just hadn't seen because I'm really not very well-rounded when it comes to sort of old media, um, or classic media, I guess. But uh, yeah, so Arc Frozen Seed was really spurred by this desire to create something for you guys that hasn't really been done before. We've never really seen Arc take a really scary, sort of visceral um, direction since something like Aberration and a lot of these other um, really, yeah, not too much to be honest. I've seen some maybe like modded content that kind of like leans into it a little bit, but Nothing so far, as far as I'm aware, on the scale of what we're doing with uh, Frozen Sea, which is a full-on horror series. Um, you know, there's a, so many different elements of body horror and um, and liminal spaces and sort of your your classic thrasher killer uh, films and all set in this arc in the arc universe. Um, really, what this what Frozen Sea allows us to do is kind of branch away from. Uh, the typical stuff that we had been dedicating our lives to, um, really, with you know bringing the story of Ark to life. Now we get to kind of you know people have been telling me for for a lot for years now. Why don't you tell your own story in the Ark universe? And this is kind of our little baby step, our stepping stone to sort of okay, we were adapting directly adapting the existing source material of Ark to kind of tell the story that existed. Now we're kind of taking one step up where it's like still in the Ark universe, but kind of our own take and our all original characters and everything and then the next step is you know as you could probably imagine kind of our own completely original um, IP and and stuff like that but um, Frozen Seed is something I'm just super uh, pumped about I've been it's crazy to create something that feels a lot more original of course it's still in the Arc IP and we're very much grateful that you know the Arc IP overall is very flexible and it allows fans to to really do all kinds of stuff with it because at the end of the day it's helping the creators um you know that's why they allow it it's because it doesn't harm if anything it promotes the game more and as much as you know that's not really my motivation for making this my motivation is because this is something that's very new to me it's very fun um and we want to tell really cool stories for you guys so anyway i don't know where i was but uh, Frozen Seed, $100,000. I've seen a lot of comments like, what's going on? Why? That's a lot of money. Yes, it is a lot of money. So uh, a breakdown, I've sort of explained it on the GoFundMe page. Um, and by the way, I'll sort of explain like what X amount. We have a couple different goals and stuff um, as well as rewards. And I'll leave the rewards in the description for different uh, amounts of donations. Um, don't have them pulled up with me right this second. But basically, why are we raising 100000 Well, it costs a lot of money to animate, to make a ton of stuff. We're going to be getting mocap. We're going to be doing so many different things that we've never done before and that are rather um, high-tech and very expensive. And so the trailer that we put out is not our best possible work um, and it's not the threshold the, the sort of what we're aiming for is an even higher bar 
with actual with the actual film for Verse and Seed. There's some placeholder things in the film um, artistically that will be changing in the full film because we just didn't have the time to um, you know to really show off our, our, our finished kind of vision for different characters and stuff. And so you know this stuff costs a lot of money, um, but and to be honest, a hundred thousand I would say is is rather low when it comes to you know what we're making we're essentially planning on at minimum um the three episodes which again we're going to originally just be a single film but now we're doing you know this three parts so we can kind of drip feed it release it at a reasonable um interval for you guys but basically each episode will be at least an hour long so by the end of this sort of series you know this three act story um set on this frozen arc uh, that's three hours of, of content, basically, a three-hour-long film, pretty much, when you combine them all together. And so that was kind of our intention with splitting it into three parts. Now, uh, the goal is for everything combined, the 100,000. So, um, in fact, it's actually 90,000 for everything, so 30,000 per part. And then the additional 10,000 is actually for bringing a lot of the assets that we create for Frozen Seed into Ark Survival Ascended for you guys to play with for free, not, not you know, we're not gonna make it a premium mod or something. Um, so free, available to download different weapons, different armor pieces, structures potentially, um, perhaps a certain creature that looks very creepy, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So we'll have that, um, that's also should be laid out in the GoFundMe, um, but that 10,000 is sort of in its own threshold at, at that point. If we reach 90,000, then it's like, okay, the next 10,000 goes to bringing a lot of these assets to ASA. Then from there, the if we raise even more than that, if we raise an additional 20,000 on top of that 100,000, that'll go directly into making an actual full-on map based in the Frozen Seed uh, based on the Frozen Seed arc uh, that's told in the story in the film, right? Or in the series of sort of in the episodic episodic film series, you could call it. And so this arc will will be, it'll take place after the series. So essentially, you know, you'll have explorer notes from perhaps from characters in the film um, or side characters even, um, you know, that kind of commenting on, on what had happened, you know, the kind of whatever you're, you guys are going to uncover if this film gets uh, funded, you know, that'll be a part of the history of that map. And we'll be able to also kind of utilize the gameplay mechanics of what it's like to have a frozen, yeah, essentially a taiga, is, is it a tundra or taiga? I always get them mixed up. Basically heavily wooded, snowy environment. Um, you know, w there's so many different things that we're already thinking about, even though we're nowhere near that goal yet, um, as of right now. Um, you know, it'd be amazing if we could, raise 120,000 because then it's like yeah we can make a freaking map and we can really flesh out this world uh but you know if we can at least get the film that would be awesome so um and after that 120,000 if we happen to raise any more than that everything else will just go back to the film uh it's very much percentage based um kind of like the different things that we're um that the money's going into. And speaking of which, if you're curious about where the money is going, um let me just pull up really quick where that is okay so uh generally we have a kind of breakdown of like of where the budget is is split up with what we raise so animation is very costly and it's it makes up a lot of um really making a production like this so that would be 45 percent of everything that we raise um in when it's within the threshold of you know outside of the potential mod maps and all that stuff um, voice acting is about 20%, voice acting talent. Uh, sound effects and music would be 20%. And then software and assets uh, would be 15%. And so that's essentially our budget right now. Um, that is the plan for Frozen Seed and how we're kind of gonna allocate these funds. So um, let me know what you guys think. You know, we this is the first time we've ever done something like this. And it was a, <laughs> it was a, so much there was a lot involved with just the trailer and i learned a lot we all learned a ton um and it was a lot of fun to be honest and and i'm just having so much fun telling a story that's not made by someone else i guess like yeah it's in the arc ip it's like a fan fiction almost but you know it really lets us kind of stretch our our production skills and and work with voice actors again and so if you guys support what we're doing check out the gofundme below please do support you know any amount 
uh, accounts, you know, $5, $1, anything is super helpful. And we just want to get this made. So we hope that you guys, um, you know, like the trailer and that you want to see more. And um, thank you so much for watching. Bye, everyone.